is going on YouTube? Uh, Realty Doc here with another video. Today's video is gonna be fairly simple. Uh, on the last video, I put in a floor bar from a Type R onto the RSX that I got from ICB Motorsports. And I mentioned that the next video was gonna be on another thing I got from ICB Motorsports. And that right there is gonna be uh, OEM brake ducts off a of RSX Type R or DC5 Type R from Japan. And they are right here. I'm not sure which side is which yet, but these go on the bumper right here and these go onto the chassis behind it. It should be fairly simple. Uh, these right here, this is the parts number for one of the ducts. And here's the other parts number from the other duct. Are the parts numbers for the part that goes on the bumper. You could just go to ICB's website, order it off there, if they're in stock. Uh, they were in stock when I ordered them, uh, you know, a month or two ago or something like that. I'm getting some quote unquote JDM points for these brake ducts, but that doesn't matter because I want brake ducts for uh, cooling the brakes when I track and stuff like that. Um, the only thing I'm really missing from this whole setup is those actual like brake duct piping. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what the the correct name for it, but they're usually circle and these are rectangular, so. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to ex to put the actual ducting later on and mount hard mount them right by the brake uh, rotors. Let's go ahead and uh, install the bumper parts first. All right, so I uh, just needed to remove these bolts. There's three of them, this side's the passenger side by the way. Kind of sort of like snaps into place. Show you from behind. There's a part. There's a part like right here on the, where the on the outer part that snaps it into the bumper right here. And there's two like prongs or whatever that snap into here. Also, go ahead and remove these clips. These are for the fog lights, if I if I believe, for the mounting screws. You don't need those. I discovered that you don't need any screws at all. You don't need any hardware at all for these. Just snap them in, that's it. So yeah, you can do that on this side now. All right guys, so this one's on. I kinda had to use a pry bar to finagle this parts in because this part of the bumper is slightly messed up um, previous owner I don't know but anyways yeah so this clips in this clips in it's not moving and yeah that parts done this is actually going by quicker than I thought it would <laughs> to be honest so yeah I am just gonna put some of these things away and go ahead and install these I didn't record myself installing these because I ran into a little bit of a dilemma but uh, here here we are on the passenger side um, since these don't come with instruction manuals or anything I just had to like kind of figure it out myself which I was doing off camera so this side the the one with the longer arms are for the passenger side um, I used one of my Honda clips to clip it here because that hole isn't threaded or anything none of these holes are so we got to use a clip and for this, I had to scrounge around for this, for a, for a bolt that would fit, because this hole right here is threaded, but it, I didn't have a, a, a screw or a bolt or anything in there, so I had to find one. It took me a while, but I finally found one, a little longer than I need, but it, I mean, it was a correct pitch, pitch thread and all that, so I screwed that down. And, you know, this should be okay. I haven't put on the bumper yet, but here, I, but on this side, this is where... The dilemma was here, there is a screw right here it goes to the, to the bash bar so that's no problem but this right here yeah <laughs> this is supposed to screw down to the outside of the 
which will wash the fluid, but obviously it's deleted. So there's nothing for this to screw onto. Ideally, I'd have to get my washer fluid uh, reservoir tank and then put it back on so that way this could be installed properly or get some kind of like or get some kind of like spacer or something jerry rig on there but right now I just have it have some zip ties holding it up just to just to keep it in place really so that way it's not all focused on this but yeah so it's a little bit of a it's a little janky I mean, I, I'm not proud of this, but it's the only thing I can do as of right now. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, it should work, so I'm going to be putting the bumper on. Also, as you can tell on both sides, I don't have a fender liner here. You're going to have to cut out a hole in the fender liner if you have one when you're installing these. So another dilemma, this driver side, I didn't install it in the right spot. Originally, it was at that bolt that was up here, and it made the brake duct way too high. So, I took it off, and I've deduced that it needs to be down here, which means that little uh, mounting spot needs another one of those Honda clips, which is no problem. Thing is, that's not a hard mounting spot, Louie. Really. And this part right here is still just going to be hanging there. So, I'm going to redo the zip tie on that one uh, for now until I figure out a more permanent solution. Eventually. Alright, guys, so I used the, used the bolt and nut to secure that there and had to. Got some zip ties, some ridiculous looking zip ties going on over here. Um, uh, not an ideal solution, but it will it will be okay until I figure out how to make it a little better. And uh, I haven't really been driving this car anyways lately, so whatever. Yeah, I'm putting this bumper on and call it good. Uh, started off easy, but got a little bit weird and complicated at the end. Not that bad of a or anything and uh yeah uh, that's about it for this one self-explanatory like i said um i have to figure out a more permanent solution for the driver's side but it's uh it's it's on so at least for track purposes it's better than no brick ducks i guess hope y'all are staying safe and whatnot staying healthy here's the better days coming all right so thanks for watching like this video if you haven't uh, liked it yet subscribe if you haven't subscribed to see more hopefully more stuff in the future not too long from now well, i hope you guys found this video to be informative and all that too um i don't think there's very many break duck videos for the rsx out there so i'll uh, catch you on the next one peace